Today we have Bill Terrell, who uh, has uh, recently uh, gone through uh, his Stephen Minister training. What prompted you to want to become a, a Stephen Minister? Um, actually, um, a couple of years ago I got, I got a letter in the mail, mm -hmm. and it was asking me to prayerfully consider uh, Stephen ministry. I had seen the, student, the Stephen minister, and that letter that that Stephen minister wrote me sort of stuck in the back of my head. So I found out more about it, and um, it might sound a little hokey, but um, to fulfill a purpose that I've been um, lacking for a while now. So I um, made the call, did an interview, and they said, but it's not about me. Um, it's really about um, being there for others. And that's, I think, a purpose that um, I need. And I think it's something that I can do a good job. Well, uh, as you went through your training, uh, what inspired you the most? Uh, what was uh, the highlight of your training? Um, the training that we went through, there were several books and pamphlets uh, that we have to go through. Of course, we met every week, pretty much, um, in the afternoon for a couple hours. Um, everybody was very organized. They did their reading before the class. Uh, I believe it was probably five books. Um, the reading went by very quickly. Um, it was a real page turn, and a lot of it validated things that I already knew but there was one instance in particular the situation was um, weighing heavily on my mind and in reading the books it was like the light bulb came on and I'm like yeah that's <laughs> why that happened and God's done that to me all my life. I don't know why something's happening, but I, th I believe that God has a sense of humor. And every now and then he'll tap you on the shoulder and say, yeah, that's why I had you go through that. <laughs> and so you just sort of laugh and say, thanks for the experience and I'll do better next time or I'll learn from it or whatever it may be. What uh, are your expectations, your hopes? Uh, how do you see God using you? Um, that's, that's the fun part about it. I don't know how God's going to use me. And I am totally open to whatever he has in store. Um, I always told people in my, in my work life, I had a wonderful, I had a good job. And I left that job for a better job. And I got that job, and I left that job for a wonderful job. I cannot wait to see what God has for me next. And it's the same way in my non-work life. Um, um, we go through continuing education as a Stephen minister. Um, we meet regularly, and I hope I can fulfill what God's plan is for me. Just along for the ride. <laughs> well, usually uh, that is best, and uh, God has a way of using us uh, in very interesting ways and uh, influencing people that uh, we never thought we would meet. Right, right. And to be there for somebody else uh, is the very least that we can do. Well, would you uh, encourage others to... Uh, consider oh, this particular ministry? And Absolutely. Um, I think if, if everyone just, it's great training mm -hmm. to be there for someone. It helps you to listen. And I know that everybody knows that I can talk, um, but it also has helped me to be a better listener, to pay more attention. Um, which is something I've been working on for quite some time. And I think if everyone just took somebody, one person, gosh, we would all be in such better shape 
um, as a church, as a community. Take it globally. Um, so yeah, just be there for somebody. 